This face is made of a rubbery, liquid crystal elastomer that responds to heat. When warmed to about 80 degrees Celsius, the material loses its shape and relaxes into a flat sheet. When cooled, the material pops back into shape. To make this shapeshifter, chemists at Rice University had to strike a balance between the stiffness and flexibility of each form. Liquid crystal elastomers are made of liquid crystal molecules embedded in a stretchy polymer. At high temperatures, the liquid crystals become disordered and the material relaxes, but when cooled, the liquid crystals take on a specific orientation programmed into the material by the researchers. This orientation holds the material in a specific shape. Researchers often program shapes into the material by patterning the liquid crystals with a template, but that process requires complicated calculations to determine what crystal orientations would produce a desired shape. The Rice University team wanted a simpler way to make complex, reversible shapes. So they turned to an existing two-step polymerization reaction for making liquid crystal elastomers. To carry out the reaction, researchers mix up a batch of liquid crystal molecules and monomers, which react and form crosslinks. This first stage creates the flat shape the material will adopt at high temperatures. Then they mold the material into a second shape and cure it under ultraviolet light to officially set the liquid crystal orientation. The liquid crystals will remember that second shape and return to it at room temperature. No template required. When testing out materials for their shapeshifters, the researchers realized that if the polymer is too soft, the shape won't hold, too stiff, and it won't return to a flat sheet when heated. To achieve the ideal material, the researchers varied the composition of their initial monomer mixture to control how much cross-linking happened in each step of the reaction. They did this until the material was just right and could be molded into a variety of complex shapes and still revert to a completely flat sheet. Michael Dickey, who works with shapeshifting materials at North Carolina State University, says the work is a nice demonstration, and that in particular, he sees heat-responsive polymers being useful for actuators, which are the moving parts of tools and machines. The Rice University team hopes its programmable materials could one day be used in soft robots and biomedical devices. The researchers are working to lower the temperature needed to flatten the material, and they hope to explore applications with flexible electronics. 